Good morning, let us pray. Father, thank you for it's another day. You are the God of glory, you're the God of might, you're the God of mercy, you're the God of grace. On account of your goodness, we have seen another week. The glory and the honor is yours in Jesus' name. And as we commence the journey of this week, we desire your manifested presence and glory to accompany us in the journey of this week to the place of satisfaction and victory in you. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to welcome you to this broadcast this morning. It's another opportunity to start our week with Jesus. Now, it's only the living can, that can start their week with Jesus. The dead can't do that. And uh, I, I believe God very strongly that this will be a week of divine speed, a week of divine accomplishment for every single one of us out there in Jesus' name. Amen. So if, if we say it's about speed, what do we mean by speed? Uh, when, when we talk about speed, we're talking about moving swiftly or swiftness. When we talk about speed, we're talking about making haste, you know. So things will happen with haste. There shall be no delays this week in the name of Jesus. When we talk about speed, we're talking about acceleration. So by the time there's acceleration, there's, there's fastness. You know, things are happening very fast, you know. And may things fall in place very fast for you and for everyone out there in the name of Jesus this week. Now, now uh, there's an interesting dimension to the meaning of speed that I discovered. And that is, it means prosperity in an undertaking. I never knew that speed referred to prosperity in an undertaking until I saw this definition in the dictionary. Prosperity in your undertaking. So, because of divine speed this week, you will prosper. In all of your endeavors, you will prosper in everything that you do, even this week, in the name of Jesus. Now, l l let's read uh, Exodus chapter 19 and verse 4. Exodus chapter 19, verse 4. The Lord was speaking concerning Israel, and this was when they had left Egypt, and he was recounting what he had done for them while they were in the wilderness. So verse 4. You have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bear you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. God was telling them, how I bear you on eagle's wings and brought you unto myself. He was saying, I, I bore you swiftly. You know, you, you knew speed, you knew swiftness. There, there was no opposition against you because I brought you to myself on eagle's wings. You were above obstacles. You were above hindrances. You were above any form of opposition because I bore you on my wings. Now, this week, the Lord will bear you on eagle's wings. You will operate above obstacles, above hindrances above every form of opposition in the name of Jesus Christ. So, because they were born on eagle's wings, it was not their effort, it was not their ability, it was not their might. It was God's effort at work on their behalf. It was God's ability at work on their behalf. It was God's might at work on their behalf. So, take note of that. Now, that's one dimension as far as divine spirit is concerned. We're going to start praying in a short while. Another dimension I want to bring to us is in 2 Samuel uh, chapter 18 from verse 19 to 23. It's the story of Ahitophel, uh, uh, well, of, of Absalom, I beg your pardon, after his revolt against his dad and after eventually he got killed, you know, and uh, the news of his death was to be broken to his father. So from verse 19, then said Ahimahaz, the son of Zadok, let me now run I, and bear the king tidings, how that the Lord had avenged him of his enemies. And Joab said unto him, Thou shalt not bear tidings this day, but thou shalt bear tidings another day. But this day thou shalt bear no tidings, because the king's son is dead, because Absalom was dead. 21. Then said Joab to Cushi, Go tell the king what thou hast seen. And Cushi bowed himself unto Joab and ran. Then said Ahimahaz, the son of Zadok, yet again to Joab, But howsoever, let me, I pray thee, also run after Cushi. And Joab said, Wherefore will thou run, my son, seeing that you don't have good news ready? 23. But howsoever, said he, let me run. And he said unto him, Run, where we are going. Then Ahimahaz ran by the way of the plain and overran Cushai, or outran Cushai. Meaning with divine speed, it doesn't matter who has started the race or who began the journey before you. You will catch up and you will overtake. So this week you will catch up and you will overtake. Can I say that again? This week you will catch up and you will overtake. Situations that appear to have gone out of your hand. You know, opportunities that have slipped away from you. You will catch up with them this week. You will even overtake them. 
in the name of Jesus because of divine speed. Can we begin to pray? Can we give thanks to the Lord for his love, his love, the Father's love? Lord, we give you thanks because you are the God of love. You are the personification of love and your love for us is unconditional. Thank you for loving me unconditionally in the name of Jesus. Can you give thanks to the Lord because you are in his plan? You are in his program. You are in his agenda. Lord, I want to give you thanks because I'm in your plan. I'm in your program. I am in your agenda. I exalt your name in the name of Jesus. Can you give thanks to the Lord, because you are a part and a parcel of his covenant workings, of his covenant operations. Lord, I thank you because I'm a part and a parcel of your covenant mandate, your covenant workings, your covenant operations. I am in your covenant. I am in agreement with you. Your covenant covers me and includes me. And I give you praise for that in the name of Jesus. Can you receive the strength of the Lord for the journey of this week? Lord, I, restrain, I receive your strength for the journey of this week in the name of Jesus. Your mighty strength I receive for the journey of this week in the name of Jesus. Tell the Lord that he will bear you on wings this week like the eagle. Lord, bear me on your wings like the eagle this week in the name of Jesus. Bear me on your wings like the eagle. Tell him it will not be your might, it will not be your ability, it will not be your exertion, it will not be your efforts that you leverage on grace this week. Lord God Almighty, it will not be my expertise, it will not be my, uh, my operations, my efforts, my ability or my might or my energy. Lord, I leverage on all that you stand for. I leverage on your grace. I leverage on your excellence. I leverage on your wisdom for the journey of this week in the name of Jesus. Can you receive flight by the spirit of grace this week? Receive flight. I receive flight by the spirit of a living God this week in the name of Jesus. Flight this week in the name of Jesus. Come against struggles. Come against undue, uh, undue struggles, undue, uh, undue you labor this week in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, in the labor of the diligent, there is profit, but Lord, no undue labor in the name of Jesus. I will not labor unduly. I will not struggle over anything in the name of Jesus. Under the covenant of grace, I have rest and I believe and I enter into your rest. So I believe your word. I labor in faith and I enter into your rest. And because of your rest, divine spirit is mine in the name of Jesus. Trust the Lord for accomplishment, timely accomplishment this week. Lord, I believe for timely accomplishment. Even this week in every area of my life, timely accomplishment in the name of Jesus. Come against every delay. Rebuke every delay in the name of Jesus. Lord, I rebuke every delay. Every foundation of delay is uprooted concerning me in the name of Jesus. Things that have refused to move all along in the name of Jesus. Hear the word of the Lord and you begin to move in the name of Jesus. I decree the word of the Lord divine progress in the name of Jesus. Divine progress in the name of Jesus. Now we read about Ahimahaz who outran Cushai by the way of a plane. Trust the Lord for divine acceleration. Divine acceleration this week. I ask you for divine acceleration. Even this week, oh God, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I receive divine acceleration. Lord God, nothing slows me down. In the name of Jesus, nothing slows me down. So reject every form of distraction in the name of Jesus and receive grace to maintain focus on on your assignment, on your goals. For this week, nothing slows me down this week. I receive grace to, to maintain focus on my goals. I receive grace to, to maintain focus on the finish line. Lord God, for this week, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, trust the Lord also for divine help, divine assistance. The Bible tells us he does not give aid unto, unto, unto men, unto angels, but he giveth aid, he giveth help unto the seed of Abraham. Tell the Lord you are the seed of Abraham. You receive his aid. You receive divine assistance in the name of Jesus. I receive divine help. I receive divine assistance uh, for you do not give aid unto angels but you give aid unto the seed of Abraham. I am the seed of Abraham by faith uh, in the name of Jesus. I receive divine aid. I receive divine assistance uh, in the name of Jesus. Things I couldn't have accomplished in myself. Uh, Lord trusting in you and with your presence and power I accomplish them this week uh, in the name of Jesus. Trust the Lord for divine realization that everything, every dream Every prospect, every desire will come to fruition, will become will come to realization.
revelation in the name of Jesus. I come, oh God, uh, unto the realization of every dream, of every prospect, of every desire in my heart in the name of Jesus Christ, that every dream becomes reality. So there's a realization of everything I ever desired, of everything I ever dreamt about uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Believe the Lord uh, and uh, that you, this week uh, you are overcoming. You are overcoming. This week you are uh, you are taking hold, you are apprehending of all, you are apprehending all that is ahead of you, all that you've mapped out. Uh, Lord, I apprehend all this week. I take hold of all this week in the name of Jesus. So for everyone out there, it is a week of manifestation. It's a week of glory. It's a week of satisfaction and it's a week uh, of victory after victory. Thank you, Father. We receive with things in Jesus' name. Amen. We don't feel like ending the broadcast, but we just have to end. Uh, I'll be with you again next Monday. Till then, God bless you.